Laws.com. Filing for divorce in Colorado. Step one, verify eligibility. To secure a legal divorce in Colorado, you must satisfy the state's residency requirements. If your court discovers it does not possess jurisdictional rights to hear the case, it will be dismissed. The residency requirements for a Colorado divorce require either spouse to have been domiciled in the state for at least 90 days previous to the commencement of the divorce filing. Also, remember that Colorado divorces must be filed in the county of either spouse. After ensuring that these requirements are met, you can then proceed to your local county clerk's office to secure the petition for a Colorado divorce. Step 2. Satisfy divorce forms. The divorce petition serves as the foundation for your case. It asks you to label pertinent information including your financial, marriage, and parenting history. Colorado is a no-fault state, which means that your case can be processed without pointing blame or citing misconduct as the means for the dissolution. You are required to answer all questions on the Colorado divorce forms that are deemed applicable to your filing. While the state allows for fault divorces, the bulk of divorcing couples opt for a no-fault divorce under the grounds of incompatibility. The final section of the Colorado Divorce Petition will inquire for the terms of your impending settlement. Known as the Relief Package, this section asks what you deem as fair with regards to the determination of child support, alimony, and property. Step 3. File and Serve Divorce Papers Once the complaint is satisfied, you must file the paperwork with your county courthouse. Once filed, your spouse must be informed of the impending legal action. This simply means that he or she must be served with the divorce petition. To expedite the serving process, you should hire your county's sheriff's department, who will send a deputy to your spouse's place of work or residence. When served, your spouse has one month to file a response. The response reflects your spouse's willingness to agree to your terms of the divorce. It must be stated, Colorado Divorce Law institutes a 90-day waiting period for couples wishing to file for dissolution. This three-month period provides couples with a cool-off period to reconsider their filing or negotiate an equitable divorce settlement. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.